care home I visited is actually a collective of facilities that host uh, some 1,150 people and they have so far registered 160 COVID-19 cases and over 90 deaths. They say they were not ready for this pandemic. They lacked everything from resources to equipment to staff. They were not given masks until the end of the month of March. They say they also lack oxygen and of course continue to face uh, staff shortages. A third of their workers um, is out sick at home, many with symptoms of COVID-19. How long can facilities continue to cope under these pressures? Well, Oliver, I put that question to the administrators and they said they have absolutely no idea. Just to give you an idea, the mortality rate once the virus actually enters a facility like that is uh, higher than 20, sometimes 30 percent. And there's something else that they are very worried about, the psychological impact that confinement measures have had on their residents, people Elderly people, vulnerable, fragile, are alone in their rooms. They have had very little contact with their family members. And the director of the center I visited said that he knew the next few weeks and months are quite precious for these people and that they will have to find a way to put them in contact more often with their family members.